Welcome back to the last round of Rivals that I'll ever be doing. This hand is pretty great, <clears throat> so I'm going to keep it. Uh, it's got a nice 2-3-4 actually. And we kind of, <clears throat> we lost round one. Um, probably, you know, I could have potentially won game two. We don't know what would happen in game three if I had uh, <clears throat> not made the mistake that I made. <clears throat> Interesting decision point here. I think it's just the down to Vanguard. It's just better, better with Squire's Devotion. And I can yield through this safely because one green can't touch this, but <clears throat> once he has like a different colour up, well green can't really do anything, so I can I can yield. And yeah. <clears throat> uh I think I can wait a turn on this and deploy. Put a lot of pressure on. Seems pretty good. Uh but yeah, so uh, you know, I'm liking the stack. Uh <clears throat> Shake the foundations, Jesus! I mean, that showed its its strength in the last round. That was ridiculous. Hopefully, he's not a um, moment of craving. Although, better better have it now than than later. Okay, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna. I mean, obviously, you could destroy this, but I think I'm gonna use it now. Actually. I didn't really think that through. <clears throat> Probably should have put it on this, and then still attack with this, and then I can Fanatical Firebrand to kill this. Although that's a guaranteed 2 for 1, so maybe this is fine actually. <clears throat> wow, this is a crazy start. Crazy, crazy start. But, I'm just excited for Dominaria, uh, Pure Leaks coming up, always a fun time, and I'm going to be drafting online, and going to try and do better this season, I mean, one trophy, obviously it's nice to get a trophy, but I feel like I'm capable of getting more than one, so if we can finish on 2-1 here, I won't be that mad, let's see who's got, maybe it's an Impale, Double black. Chupacabra would be pretty bad as well. Walk the plank. Can't do much about that. It is what it is. That is a brick wall, though. Could attack with this as well. No, I can't attack with that. Just this. So I'm pretty sure he's not going to block here. You could have, um, like, Aggressive Urge. I think that's what the card's called. Probably gonna leave a white here. I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference. Nice little 3-3 three, three here. If we draw a Dinosaur, it's gonna be a little bit better. We found a dumped our hand now. His hand's full of gas. But he's on 6 life. Ooh, he's playing Jund. No. What's that called again? Um, he's playing Siege Rhino. You know what I mean. Come on. Uh, oh my god, what's that called? I'm tilting so many people right now that I don't know what it's called. Abzan. There we go. I knew I could get it. What does he have? Does he have Snapping Sail back? Ooh. I mean... <clears throat> I'm gonna play this. Give me that 2 life. I'm gonna attack all here. Uh, so snapping sail back, maybe I should play around that and not attack with uh, Firebrand. Yeah, I think that's probably good. <coughs> well, that was quite nice. Our uh, opponent got punished for playing three color deck there. I think uh, he must have had some white cards stuck in his, stranded in his hand, not stuck in his hand, stranded in his hand. Let's go for Raptor Companion. And that's it. <clears throat> oh man, let's get the back-to-back -back quick 2-0s and I can just play some standard. That's going to be amazing. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Could use those mana hours, you know. Well, I might play some pauper. Uh, no, I probably should play standard. Um, I've been invited to an RPTQ. I did not win it, but it's a team event. My friend won it and he's invited me, so that's pretty sweet. So I probably should be playing all the standard I can. But uh, it's, it's going to be a new standard, so 
Hopefully I'll be able to place a blue eye control or something like that. Or some control there, anyway. Actually, wow, that's a great artwork on Shake the Foundations. nice one as well. well we, we actually have a lot of synergies with Famish Panel and two Marder Disc. I kind of forgot about them. They count as lifelink. Oh man. The Relentless Raptor. Man, that's a lot of pressure early on. Two Squires Devotion. This deck's pretty good. You know, this deck's fine. <coughs> Just a little bit sad about this guy. Is he? I wonder if he's banned in Brawl. It's probably illegal in Brawl. <clears throat> oh. Ooh. Let me get some blueberries into me. Fireball is really going on this. We can't see it with a shine. Really fading. It's still a good bottle though. Ooh, this looks like an easy mulligan. Which are the best kind of mulligans. This looks like an easy keep with a scry. Uh, planes to the top. Okay. <laughs> We're doing it here. We're just doing it. No place? Oh my god. He's got fixing though. Um, what are we doing here? Probably the Raptor Companion. Hmm. Well, first of all, she's going to attack. Uh, like, if he's walked the plank, he'll definitely use it on this, so I guess I want to play Raptor Companion first. <coughs> because he just goes, like, forest, walk the plank. That's fine. You might trade here. I mean, the flyer is definitely way better, though. He didn't. Got a nice little raptor here. Now you can play Brontodon, which is pretty bad for us, but we'll just use Firebrand to get, get around that if we need to. Eight letters. Uh, name, that's pretty good. Again, E and the L should be capitalized, but... People just don't know. My name's almost great, Lynch Sliver. If this goddamn underscore wasn't here, I think it should just be like Lynch. Maybe a space, but not an underscore. Underscore is pretty weak. It's better than numbers and trash like that, though. Um, but yeah, it should just be like the S should be right there behind the uh, H. And Lynch Sliver it could be a sliver. It could be like a mob. It's like Lynch Sliver gets plus one plus one for each other sliver named Lynch sliver or something like that you know <clears throat> and you can have any number of Lynch slivers in your deck because they're the mob you know it's got like a pitchfork for a hand I don't know so he did walk the plank 
but um, that's all right. I wonder if he'll attack. That'll be interesting. No, I didn't attack. It might imply a trade, um, which I don't want to trade now because. then my guy won't be as big. But it does get rid of his flyer, and we do have a lot of dinosaurs in the deck, so I think I'm fine with the trade. Which he is definitely going to make, because why would you not attack? Yeah. What? Aggressive Urge doesn't do it. Buddy, that's the worst use of Aggressive Urge I've ever seen. <laughs> he just cycled that. That's uh, that's interesting, to say the least. <laughs> Why would you... I guess he needed something, I don't know. Maybe his hand is non-creatures and he needed another creature. That's so weird, though. You don't even save your guy. <laughs> oh, no, the creep. The creep's pretty good. Good thing we have something off the top. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to... I do not want to make that trade. It's a bad trade deal. You can just get it back. Although going long versus the three color deck is probably pretty bad because he probably has a lot of powerful cards. Bronte? No. Darth Leap Interloper. Let's see what he explores. Forest Hand. Place the forest. So now we know he definitely can get it back. We're looking for a Pious Interdiction to get rid of this. not interested in the trade at all. Uh, we have, what, a Dano Vanguard in our deck. We have any flyers in the deck? We trapped out uh, Tyrant would be nice as well. That would exile it, so yeah, actually, trapped out Tyrant would be a nice answer. And his walked plank is gone, so that's nice. I mean, presumably he didn't have two of those. Ooh, armor source pretty decent. We can trade with it though. Although he's playing aggressive urge in his deck, so that means he can play more combat tricks. We could start attacking with this. Yeah, I probably would, because I can't attack through this unless I draw something. Although the risk if I draw something is pretty great. So first strike. It's pretty good. Excuse me. He does have another, he has a planes in his deck, so he might have like a double planes card that he's in there. What do you got for me? Bronte? Looks like Bronte. Two green. New Horizons. Ooh, that's annoying. Put it on the armor sword, probably. We're on the, the Menace guy would be okay. Wow, why would you put it on the Jungle Creeper? The Creeper's just gonna come back. Like, I feel like I would put that on the... Oh no, not a Life Langora. One white. Okay, Traveler's Amulet. <clears throat> okay, he's got the fixing, he's got the New Horizons.
Uh, the reason I'm you know blocking with these two as well is just in case he has some kind of trick, and then this would not work. So a little insurance there. You know, if you had a second aggressive rage or something like that. But like he was pretty happy with that order because he got to kill all my two best guys. Two men up. Pretty hard to have something super glow outy here. I presume it's just gonna go. He's gonna lose his jungle creeper, and I'm gonna be down one spell, and he's gonna get his jungle creeper back. But he's in the tank, so you never know. Two white. What's two white? Pride of Conquerors. Plus two, plus two. On top, all guys. What a weird card to be splashing, though. I just don't get it. Like. Your deck seems pretty slow. Not very aggressive. Pride of Conqueror is probably a pretty aggressive card. Yeah. Well, I guess a good thing I had that insurance on me, right? What a weird card to be splashing for. Well, I guess he got me pretty good. Dual shot. And I can get rid of this. Probably not going to win this one. But we do have Trap Draw Tyrant, so I gotta wait, you know, I gotta, I gotta top deck the, the Mythic Rare. And then just go ping ping! <coughs> Exalt all your guys. Dual shot. Let's make that trade there. Bring back the creep. No, pray brown to them. I have the dual shot to take out the armor sore. Obviously, he'll get two one ones out of it. It's not the best trade deal, but at least it gets rid of it, and then we can top deck something else to deal with uh, the jungle creeper, especially trap jaw right tyrant. pretty good in three color deck. It's pretty nice that he played that pre combat actually, just because uh oh, he's playing around it. Okay. Ooh wow. Yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Store here. <clears throat> he was going to block with Joan Creeper otherwise, so I didn't like that. So I'd rather get his armor sore. Two motor explorers. So you'd have to discard another card. Ugh, should have killed one of my own tokens. God damn, I'm so bad. Yeah, just 
should have killed one of my own tokens, now he just gets a jump block. So dumb. So dumb. So dumb. Oh my god. Could I play worse? Could I play worse? It's it's debatable, you know? Just kill one of my own one ones. Like, just the dumbest things ever. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm playing so bad today. I don't know what's going on. It's probably because I only play limited once a week. I used to play so much more, and then I realized, oh my god, it's a rip-off. I'm just going to play standard. Um, just renting. Which is just great. And you never run out of ticks, because you just go 3-2 or 4-1. Obviously, I've gone negative a couple times, but... <sighs> Can't believe I just didn't kill my own ones there. Absolute fool. <laughs> you know, I guess it's like... At least I'm at the level where... Oh, I made a horrible mistake and I instantly realize it. Rather than the level of like... Oh yeah, that was fine. <laughs> Jesus. What would he have done? Like, he would have had to trade with Aramisaur and then he's left with just a 3-3. Three, three. It's not that good. <sighs> it's so frustrating. Or he would have to gamble on the Explorer. That's, yeah, that's very frustrating. Yeah, let's run that back. Oh my god. Playing awful. Hopefully at least entertaining. Anyone still here in round three? Jace. Oh, Jace. Just get a super lucky aggro start and win. <laughs> that seems that seems the way. Um, could put a sunrise seeker in. Hmm. This hand draws a plane that's really good. Fixing on turn one. Ah. Hmm. Boom. Very lucky, very lucky.
Could play Martyr to us, but he's never going to kill that, so I think I'm just going to play this, and if he has Walk the Plank, so be it. <laughs> he did get a Plane, so he's got the he's got the Abzan. Not quite natural, but... Um, I wonder if he'll play it, though. That's the interesting thing. If we draw a land, that's really good, which is an addiction it. Yes. That was really lucky, obviously. We kept a dodgy hand. And we dealt with his one of his most annoying creatures. This much. It would be nice to finish on a 2 1. In the tank. Far if he plays like a forest and then 3 4, that would be pretty bad. Um, you could block the Relentless Raptor and then, like, later on in the game, it could destroy Pyster Addiction and his Jungle Creeper would be back at it again. Uh, the best play if he goes planes like nothing, obviously, but or like planes two drop, that'll be okay. Walk the plank be meh. Just gonna yield through this turn because I can't do anything. Four drop. Still didn't play his planes, so he must have the little green spell here. Uh, okay, that's all right. Uh, two creatures or one creature? I think one creature. Just because, you know, you can play a five drop next turn and the Thrasher Raptors could potentially attack through it. Sell it. Uh, that's pretty good for us. Uh, it chumps, but it doesn't um, like trade any of our guys. And we trample over with Thrash Raptors, so that's really good. He does have a three drop. Let's see what it is. Second Creeper would be bad for us. New Horizons. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Only kind of. Okay, he's on five. We have assembled a lot of power. We have a dual shot. Dreadmaw doesn't do it. He needs like two creatures or a creature in a spell. So I feel like he's going to walk the plank. Thrash Raptors and play a creature. <laughs> yeah, worst worst case scenario. Excuse me.
Deep in the tank here. Deep in the tank. Concede one time. <laughs> oh, 2 1. Not even. Oh, he's doing something. Not conceding. That's bad for us. <laughs> What's he got? Three mana. Branted on? Probably. everyone hoping to open in there. Well, I guess it's too late because this is going to be up on the Monday. And I've already done my pre-release. As will you guys. There's the Bronte. Pretty solid card here. <coughs> <coughs> the thing is, like, he has to block and then sacrifice, so. Okay. What does he have here? My first strike spell is not great here, because he'll just sacrifice to, to get Jungle Creeper back. He must have something if he didn't scoop, but I'm not going to not attack like. But the dual shot's nice, physic. Okay, guys, we went 2 1, even though I played woefully. Whatever, I'll take it 2 1. Let's move on to Dominaria. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thanks for watching.